Yep, yeah, what's good y'all ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens, how y'all doing, y'all feeling? Today, we got the Hood Fly Cab interview. You know what I'm saying? Therapy session. Fair four P session, stupid uh. You know what I'm saying? Four, four. Come on, 4x4. We know what we're here for. Stop it. Let's get some move to it. Let's see what my guys got for us today. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Florida got me moving different. I ain't gonna lie. If you know, you know. If you know me, you know this is not my body. And look what I'm over here. You know what I'm saying? Back in the towns with it. Crazy. What a crazy shift. Man. Let's get to it, though. Hope fly Kev, man. What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. Oh, shit, I need a leg. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I like to see out the first man to do the therapy session. I love to see where it's at now. Respectfully. It's mm -hmm. lovely, bro. Respectfully. I ain't gonna lie, my brother. Respectfully. I ain't gonna lie. You're going crazy. I'm proud of you, my boy. Respectfully, man. I ain't give you the white man handshake. You, of course. <laughs> like, let's just start from the beginning, bro. Like, yeah. how, was your, how was your childhood like, bro? What shit. Would you, how would you explain it, bro? Niggas. <laughs> 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 Nah, I'm gonna be honest. I had a good little childhood for me. It was fun. Like, okay, I ain't about to sit here and I let these other niggas talk about I came from the gun. <laughs> nah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, of course, I came from the hood. Like, of course, it's a hood everywhere. Okay, okay. respectfully. I grew up on some New York shit. Like, I'm outside, have friends, everybody playing. Respectfully. As kids, of course, as a kid, I swore I was going to the A. I swear I was going to that. Gangsta, gangsta. I was nice, I myself rapping, bro. I used to try to take a ball so serious. I swear they was going to the A. I don't know if it was just our generation gang or it was just like, it just. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy you said that because now that I think of it, I do feel like it's our generation. Strictly off the fact that now these kids don't even play sports. Yeah, because everybody like, it went from the A and our generation went from rap, went to rapping. Yeah, bro. I ain't lie. They just went to rap. So now the new generation is seeing what we doing. Yeah. And they want to build off of that. Gangsta, gangsta, gangsta. Nah, but yeah, gangsta. I ain't never really have a, a bad, bad or hard childhood, feel okay. me? Yeah. Have fun. And I respect that, bro. A lot of people come in here with the sad story, gang. But yeah, I would never try to bring that <laughs> to the table. Even if I did, I would never try. Because nah, I, I feel like a lot of people, granted, I don't know no one's story. And people do go through things. Granted. But I feel like sometimes a lot of people be trying to make it seem like something that wasn't. Gangsta. Gangsta, bro. I definitely agree. But it's the good usual. that you give me a truth, bro. Of course, my boy. So, like, what type of... Where, where, you, where you born or raised? I was born... I ain't gonna lie. I was born in Queens. Uh-huh. I was born in Queens. I moved to North Carolina for a few years. Okay. My son was in the South with it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I came back to New York, Southside Jamaica. Queens is crazy. Kind of still hood. Hollywood couldn't change me. Had I. Oh, okay. North Carolina <laughs> couldn't change me. But yeah, for me, grew up in Southside Queens. That's uh, for me. Sometimes, yeah. And yeah, like, I've been there ever Shout since. I love my hood. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Bro, what got you into music, though? I'm gonna be honest. Damn. Boredom. <laughs> what you talking about? I ain't got a lot over COVID, bro. Yeah, this nigga Kevin. I ain't got a lot over COVID, bro. I feel like, I right, over COVID, you feel me? Everybody in the crib is nothing to do for real. Gangsta. So I'm just doing shit, bro. I'm. I feel like just starting to get into new shit. I'm in the house, so I'm trying to find any and everything to keep me occupied. Gangsta. And on top of that, you know, I got man that's rapping and mm, shit. Already, yeah, the motivation so right there for sure. Yeah, so I don't know, bro. I just started doing it for fun. Okay. I really started doing it for fun. Okay. I feel like probably 22. I should pick up a mic, yo. Oh, go on. <laughs> 20. When I met you, 2021. Yeah, like 2021. Damn, I don't even remember. I'm Damn, saying, bro, it's, it's been, been a little minute. minute. Yeah, it's been Damn. a minute. Sheesh. Whenever I met you, that's when you was taking it serious. I started taking it serious. Okay, I started okay. shooting my videos and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. When, that's why. I, that's why I would say when when you whenever you shoot your vid, that's when you know you're taking it serious. Yeah, bro. That's how like, I felt too. When I first shot my vid, like 2018, I'm like, yeah, now I'm taking it serious. Yeah, you know what it was. And it's funny. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was Dan, but my mom was just telling me niggas are shooting around the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shooting videos. I don't know if that was Dan, but like, yeah, no, nah, I've been into it, Dan. That's, that shit crazy. I didn't even know it. I didn't even know he, you know what I'm saying, knew my mans. And, you know what I'm saying, I didn't meet him until through Kev, like, personally, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, man. Small world, you know what I'm saying? Big queens, in it? That made me push it. I was a SoundCloud rapper, but it's like, uh -huh. I wouldn't even say I was a SoundCloud rapper because I wasn't a rapper, but I was dropping on SoundCloud dropping stuff. On SoundCloud. And people was knowing me off of my SoundCloud music. So I'm like, 
Effort, I, if this it. was happening and then I see these other I ain't lie. Shout out to the Bronx. They was doing their thing. Yeah. I see they getting lit, making their money. I'm like, fuck it. Might as well. Not gangster, bro. Gangster. Might as well. Gangster. So when did you feel like, yo, this joint started picking up? Like, I'm doing my thing. I'll probably say it started picking up. I'll probably say. When should I say it started picking up? I'll be honest, that's a good question. Maybe 2022? Me personally. 2020, when you had like numbers? This, like, I feel like I tend Some to sleep cool on numbers. myself. So mm -hmm. what other people are seeing of me, I'm not noticing. No, nah, against as of like yet that. for It'd me like that for sure. So, so for I'll, you, for you, I'll probably say start picking up once I face started hitting numbers like one k in like two days of okay, my videos yeah. and stuff. Nah, respectfully, bro, that's what it start. You start seeing that motivation like now. Nah, hold on, I gotta keep on doing this. And mind you, at the time, I only had like five, six thousand followers, bro. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah I thought we were yeah, talking about time. Damn, five, six. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. About two years ago, that's yeah. Good, yeah. All right, so how like how would you describe your music in like four words? Give me four words to describe your music. Four. I need a leg. Uglam. <laughs> Gangsta. There we go. Gangsta. <laughs> I need a leg. Okay. I got a lot. All right, so what keeps you going, bro? Yeah, I, know I know as an artist, it get hard, game. It definitely do. What keep you pushing, bro? It's a few things that can be pushing. Of course, the motivation. Uh huh. I'm talking about. I'm talking like the motivation that comes from people I don't know. Who actually listen to my music but okay. aside of that of course everyone that support me feel me because it's like it do be times i'll be on something i don't want to do this no more nah, feel gangsta, me? Like, bro, gangsta. or i get tired of it okay. and then i like to see people reactions to my music like when they listen or i just like to see people in tune with it in general okay feel me and on top of that i like shooting videos like it's fun nah facts it'd be lit like shooting videos is fun bro just looking back and it's like nah you just shot that it's heat. Yeah, and That's then the I ain't fun, gonna lie, yeah. bro. Another reason I, I'm still doing this, I don't got no other passion right now, man. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta make it. <laughs> nah, <I'm fine. laughs> I don't got no other choice. <laughs> so let's pivot. What would you be doing if you wasn't making music? Man? If you, you never even it, thought brother. about Come getting on. in the booth, what would you be doing? Only yeah. fans. Only fans, okay. On your own time. All right. What's up? Only fans. Porn store, all right. If y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> From therapy session to freak session. <laughs> my son, Ben, talking about. I ain't gonna lie. You know a job like that is only for one of a kind. Nah, yeah, you know man. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, rap don't work. Catch me on the... <laughs> bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. bro. I'm gonna be real with you, gang. Uh, honestty, but respectfully, bro. Some need a man for the job. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I feel like I'm built for that. <laughs> and then on top of that, <laughs> nigga said rap don't work. I'm hopping in the fucking porn industry. On my song. <laughs> <laughs> on, on my song and know the name. I said rapping don't work. Catch me on the hub. Come on. Gangsta. I'm gonna give it to the end of this year. Yeah, yeah. So ladies, uh, yeah, ladies, mm -hmm. still tapping my son. Her mm -hmm. podcast, OnlyFans. The OnlyFans, Mr. I like, like, This is. Let's make a. This is about to be a nice little commercial. So, what are you, what are you giving out on OnlyFans, bro? So the, so the bitches can see, bro. Oh. Slinging dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I man. Gangsta. So bitches. I mean women. I mean females. <laughs> Kev is out here slinging, slinging pipe on the OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm right? giving them a good time. That's what I'm here doing. You know what I mean. Uh, gangsta, gangsta, bro. I love your energy, bro. You already know that, bro. Shout out Dan for keeping it comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Still promoting my boy. Like, even though niggas is laughing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The jokes is there, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Even then, like, like you know niggas will be holding back to fucking not seem like they, you know what I'm saying? Play for the play for the Rainbow Squad, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> hey, bro. <laughs> when you're comfortable in yours, you know what I'm saying? You go. Of course, respect for I'm me. I'm like, so like, my bad. Like, what do you do when shit get hard, bro? Pause. When shit get hot, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's pause. Some niggas is hilarious, nah, ain't we? Me, I ain't gonna lie. Wait. I feel like I feel like when shit get hard, I really just tend to just do random shit and just enjoy, Gangsta. enjoy life. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I think notice like it's life. Shit is gonna get hard. Gangsta. Of course. But I feel like it's always what you make it. You can't always yeah. stress something. If you yeah. stress it, the more you think of it, I feel like that's the worst it's going to get. Gangsta. And me, I'm never the type to just try to sit on one thing and just feel like I'm done. Like, I can't do this. Nah, or I'm stressed. So, I don't know. I used to tend to use a lot of distractions. Mm -hmm. And me, 
I'm already quick to get distracted. <laughs> so I do just have fun. I just be doing shit. Just do <laughs> shit. That's literally keep all it shit. is. Just do occupy. shit. Feel me? Keep your mind occupied. That's literally all it is. But just be occupied. Nah, respect. Me? Nah, I definitely agree, bro. Damn. And then I feel like, look, That's for example, what I do too, gang. Nah, get you yeah. I'm being like, for example, like it's, it's times I have yeah, like I have writer's block or whatever. Uh huh. <clears throat> I keep myself occupied because you know, like I feel like as an artist, you would know. Mm-hmm. If you got writer's block, just go out and do something. Gangster. You need something to talk about. So get your, I, was I feel like that's a good example. Material. Or like when shit get hard, nah, I just go out and do stuff. Respectfully, bro, because if you just sitting down doing nothing, you mm-hmm. just gonna be like soaking in bullshit, bro. Yeah, nah, respectfully, bro. nah. So if you going through something, if you out there going through something. I know I sound like a dumbass, but yo, if you're out there going <laughs> through right. something, as a Talking. therapist, then I'm telling you, go outside and do something. Enjoy no, life, bro. Enjoy life, like, for real. Find a way to like, enjoy Don't sit on that's one thing and let it stress you. Just nah, enjoy gangsta, life. Gangsta, that's like, that's like actually great advice, bro, because niggas, tell you, bro, find that niggas light. just popping perks and shit, bro. Like, And that's why, bro, <laughs> yo, I don't understand. Like, I feel like I ain't the type to y'all tell nobody what to do, but me personally, often, y'all, so if you're going through something, please don't do things that would kill you. Gangster, gangster. I'm gonna be honest, like, I feel like that plays a part on why people ask me, like, how come you always, like, my fault, my fault. I, I don't mean to cut you out, brother, man. I'm gonna run it back. As a nigga that has never touched the bottle, a nigga that's never touched no drugs, nothing, you know what I'm saying? 100% pure and, and clean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, everybody go through shit. I still go through shit, you know what I'm saying? I find a way to. Maneuver through, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do at the end of the day for my peoples. That's that's my light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Making sure my peoples are good. That's you know what I'm saying? You just gotta find that light. You gotta find that spark. You gotta find what you find happiness in, whatever. Even if it gives you just just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It might not be, you know what I'm saying? Ongoing like continuous happiness, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Find, find the things that give you, like, you know, the things that bring you back. And then you got to have that motivation. You got to have that motivation in life. You know what I'm saying? You got to have something to be, keep going on for. You, you got to have something. So, come on. Find something. My bad. Be honest, like, I feel like that plays a part on why people ask me, like, how come you always, like, how come you never mad? You never in a bad mood, never sad. Uh-huh. Whole time, I feel like... As I said, it's life. We all go through shit. Gangsta. I'll be in bad moves. I'll be going through shit, but I'm not going to bring that energy around people. I'm, I'm not going to show it, bro. No, I agree. Because as I said, I don't sit on nothing, but I just tend to enjoy life. How you I feel close about up and box up before I... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fuck I'm I love them. <laughs> I love them. Okay. I just can't trust them. Ah, and why? Why? Is you that? talking about bitches? Uh, I already know yes, cause... I love them. Oh, the females these days. Of course. Yeah. Say, what they be, I'm be honest, I love them. I ain't even have to hear the question. <laughs> I love them. Okay. I, I, just, I just know what the answer. Ah, and why Why is that? Because I ain't allowed Don Q said it the best. Uh-oh. I fuck niggas, bitches. How can I trust mine? Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay. When did What's Don the... say that? That's real. I feel like I've heard that before. I feel like I heard that before. What, what's, what track is that? That's just so real. I've definitely heard that before. I just can't remember. So real. The four traits that you need your bitch to have. Uh-oh. All right, first Freaky. two off the rip, cooking and cleaning. Oh, okay. This nigga taking it back with it. All right, okay. The real as fuck. Cooking and cleaning. You gotta cook and clean. They always want some. Loyalty They always want some traditional shit, but they not even traditional. But those. You know know that? I need you to cook for me. I need <laughs> you to clean for me. I need you to be a lady. Gangster. I feel that's the third trait because a lot of these females now, fake be asking, acting more masculine than us. You heard? I'm like, gonna say. I'm like, relax, son. You for me? <laughs> Gangster, bro. And fourth, hmm. I don't expect too much in a woman because they don't give too much. But <laughs> fourth, I'll probably say I need her. I would like for her to have a mind of her own. Yeah, that's big. A lot of friends like following their friends and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, they should be following some songs. Niggas too, though. People be Niggas following. Niggas gotta do shit to impress. There's a lot of dick riding in this world going on. <laughs> I was about to say, that's it's on both ends. Dick riding at an all-time high. For the team I play for, I'm really worried about those. I, niggas already already get what niggas be on. Get them the fuck out of here. I need my, my female, you know what I'm saying, to be on her own track. Because y'all bitches be burnt. Y'all, y'all mentally be fucking cooked. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, man. Yo, 
We probably at the all time highest percent ever, bro. Hey, dick ride. I ain't gonna lie. Dick so when it come to niggas, bitches, like, of course the bitches, the females is going to dick ride regardless. Nah, against them. Fuck it, that's what they here for. They gotta, they gotta <laughs> I ain't even mad. Okay. Why is the niggas doing it? Yeah, nah. I do, man. <laughs> niggas be dick riding, man. Yes. What that no man? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what? Right. good, bro. Yes, what I that mean. no man? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we good, bro. Let's take a deal. No, I'm fucking wait. No, oh, we done it up out of here. I didn't even know. Damn. Nigga was getting comfortable. Fuck. Okay. Hey man. Hey. Shout out to Full X Four. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Dan. Shout out Hope Arcab. You know what I'm saying? Links is church into this. Would be a, you know what I'm saying? Links to the description. What the fuck? Links to this will be in the description. What the hell? And yeah, man. You know, get into them. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all take it easy. Good, bit, 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 bit. It's your boy, Air NYC, man. The Air of NYC. Come on, come on, say it with me. The Air, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you breathe that shit of NYC. You know what I mean? Y'all take it easy. Good bet.